All right, so we'll meet today in tabletop. Come to your hands and your knees. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, cow pose, soft belly, wide chest. Exhale, cat spine, tuck your pelvis and tuck your chin. Smooth and steady, inhale, cow pose. Lift through the crown of your head, expand your heart. Exhale, cat spine. Your cow and cat will be your first high repetition. Take these two postures at your rhythm, your pace. Now that you know where you are and what you're doing with the smooth undulation of your spine, please set your gaze down the bridge of your nose or close your eyes entirely. Try not to rush these movements. In fact, try to slow the breath to slow the movements. And when you start to move a little bit slower, you'll find that you feel just a little bit more. Energize your hands from base, knuckles to gripped finger pads. Unclench your jaw and soften your eyes. Only as slow or as fast as you can fill and empty your lungs is as slow or as fast as you move through cow and cat pose. High repetition, you anchor the mind in where you are and what you're doing. And what you may find in these gentle postures, your ego shows up. The loop of judgment shows up. And these things, they start to tell you that this is boring, this is too slow, it's too little, it's not but in your higher heart, you focus on where you are and you focus on what you're doing. It's the skill of linking a complete breath to a complete healing movement. With patience, you finish up the cycle that you're on. Make sure that you complete your exhale. Find your neutral table. Let's cleanse and exhalation, nostrils to navel. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, expel stale breath. We'll add on, inhale, cow pose, chest is wide. Exhale, sink hips to heels and melt your forehead towards the mat. Inhale, stand on your knees and sweep your arms high. Lift chest and chin. Exhale, down dog, plant your hands and lift your hips. Pay attention on purpose. Inhale, cow pose, drop to knees, open heart. Exhale, hips to heel, soft chest, relax your shoulders. Inhale, stand on your knees, sweep high, look high. Exhale, down dog, elongate the exhalation to lift your hips. I'll guide you through one more. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, stand on your knees, lift ribs, hands, and gaze. Exhale, downward dog, energize hands, high hips. And take these four postures at your breath cycle. If you forget something, that's just fine. And if you prefer to add something in, also just fine. The goal here is to link your breathing to a complete healing movement. To connect even deeper to this high repetition, please set your gaze down the bridge of your nose or close your eyes and draw a little deeper into your body.
vinyasa or to place in a special way. You are linking complete breath to complete movement. And in your yoga practice, you have the opportunity to slow down enough and really feel. You have the opportunity to slow down and consciously choose as opposed to blindly going through these motions or allowing your attention to divide and leave the breath. And I assure you, the more connected you are to your breathing, the more powerful and potent this physical practice becomes. You're more than halfway through the second series of high repetition. Pay attention to the breath as it synchronizes to the movement. Using your fingers and your toes. Smoothing out any parts of the breath that are, say, erratic or rushed. Smoothing out any parts of the movement that feel jerky or rushed. Comfort in familiarity. Comfort in this repetition. Your mind knows exactly where you are. Your body knows exactly how to breathe. Please do not rush. If you finish up the cycle that you are on, the last posture is downward facing dog. We'll link up there, down dog in five. Once you find the pose, settle into stillness, four, three, two. Take a big breath in and lift your hips. Exhale, tabletop, drop to your knees. Place your left hand on the mat right underneath your face. This is your foundation. We'll introduce a twist. Inhale, peel your right arm high, open chest. Exhale, thread the needle. Reach your right arm to the left and bend your left elbow. Keep it smooth. Inhale, right arm high. Hips to the right. Look at your right thumb. Exhale, thread the needle. This is your third high repetition today. On your inhalation, you open your chest, fill up your lungs. And on your exhalation, you twist from the low belly, ribs, and the heart. Remember your details. Set your gaze down the bridge of your nose, or keep the eyes open and let your gaze follow your right thumb for the entirety of this series. Please try not to rush your movements. I imagine there are plenty of opportunities in your life to rush this is not one of them. In perfect contrast, slow down your breathing to inherently slow down your movements. Strengthen your patience. With strong determination, you focus on your breathing as it relates to moving your body in this very special and healing way. You are more than halfway through this first side. Energize all 10 fingers without a high lift in the brows or a deep furrow. Keep the eyes free and the jaw spacious. And whatever it is that comes up, fatigue in the left shoulder or left arm, maybe it's some tightness or freedom in the low back. Whatever it is that comes up, excitement, agitation, anger, you breathe with it. You practice breathing through the moment. Instead of trying to escape it or rush it, you breathe with whatever is. I'll count you down for three. 
get even slower than you already are. Two. And one. Tabletop is where we meet. Release your right hand back down to the mat. In between sides, inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly, lift your heart. Exhale, cat pose. Smooth and slow, two more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat back, you neutralize. One more time, take a breath in, cow pose. And let a breath out, cat back. Second side without expectation or comparison to first. Plant your right hand underneath your face, spread your right fingers wide. Inhale, left arm high, look up and lengthen. Exhale, thread the needle, tap or hover left shoulder off the floor. Inhale, left arm high from the left waist, ribs and left shoulder. Exhale, thread it through. When you take personal responsibility, your rhythm and your pace. You can set the gaze down the bridge of the nose. You can close the eyes. Or if you like, set your gaze at your left thumb. Strengthen your ability to concentrate, to focus on that one thing as it moves through space and time. Second side in any series, it might look different and it certainly might feel very different. What's far more fascinating is your ability to breathe with and through. Your ability to ride something out with strong determination. And throughout this practice, as many times as your attention divides, you start reflecting on the past or getting anxious and curious about the future. You want to acknowledge where you've gone, pay it conscious mind, and then by choice you return to the breath and the movements as they unfold and develop right here in this moment. You're already more than halfway through this second side. You'll just take a moment to feel into your hips without judgment. Acknowledge your knees, the way they're grounded. And wherever it is, that the tops of your feet rest. How they sway and move, a little or a lot. Recommit to the press of your right hand, base, knuckles, and finger pads. As I count you down, try to slow it down for three. There's two, and one. There's absolutely no rush, but tabletop is where we meet. Two strong hands under square shoulders and chest to the floor. Inhale, cow pose, elevate heart and crown of head. Exhale, hips to your heels. Two more times, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, hips to your heels. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, cow pose, chest open, heart open. Exhale, hips to heels, hairline towards the floor. Inhale, tabletop, your spine is flat. Exhale, Sukhasana, easy seat. Let your ankles cross. Walk your hands back towards your knees, roll over your feet and come to your seat. As you cross at your ankles and knees drop down, your body might benefit from a little bit of height. So whether that's a folded blanket, a small cushion or pillow, it might even be a yoga block, but let your inner thighs relax and your outer knees melt towards the floor. Smooth and steady, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms up. Exhale, side body stretch to the right, right hand down, bow out your left side. Take your time, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lengthen upward, lift high. Exhale, side body stretch to the left. Press your right hip down. 
Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Palms might touch if your neck permits. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. You're in your next high repetition. So your rhythm, your pace, take personal responsibility. Let the inhalation lift you upward through center. And let the exhalation arch your spine in a C curve. If you're plenty familiar, only as slow or as fast as your whole body can breathe is as slow or as fast as you enter and exit these two movements. An upward lift and a side body stretch. Small details, remember the relaxation through your inner thighs. If there's over effort or you start to guard, release, create trust. If you find habitually that you carry tension in the shoulders or the neck, try not to over effort, no strain in those specific areas. Your facial expression, a symbol of santosha, of contentment. Know that you're not trying to control reality. You're not trying to shape it. You are healing your relationship with it. And you're doing that by breathing in it and being in it with wholehearted attention. The truth of the matter is so many of us, we move through our entire day without slowing down enough to feel the breath just once without slowing down enough to actually check in and pay attention to how we feel. But in these high repetition movements and smooth, soothing breath, we can actually feel and take stock. Acknowledge what's there, how you feel, without judgment or reaction to it. If you've shown up for this practice really angry or sad or upset, those feelings are fine. Hold space for them. If you've shown up today really happy and excited, enthusiastic, also equally fine. Just hold space for what is. Through the middle and over to the side, I'll count you down for five. Try to get even slower. Slower with the breath, slower with the postures. Four. Use your eyes, your hands, the entirety of your torso. Three, stay equally heavy through both sitting bones and both hips. Two, take your time, do not rush, that's one. One of two ways, a little more active, collect hands at your heart or let the backs of your hands take rest on your legs. Personal preference, set the gaze on something small and unmoving in your horizon line or close your eyes and draw attention inward. Feel the echo of what you were just doing. If there's guarding in your inner legs, release. If there's tension in your abdominals, replace that with a free flowing breath. Drop your chin towards your chest and switch the cross of Supasana legs, opposite foot and shin take the front. I do apologize for not offering this earlier. If cross of the legs is too intense, you can always modify, extend your legs out long in front of you, Dandasana staff pose. Grounded into sitting bones, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, both arms up. Exhale, spinal twist to the right, right hand behind you, left hand to your right knee. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, chest and chin rise. Exhale, spinal twist to the left. Your body's a little more familiar. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Just twist and rinse through low abdomen. Exhale, spinal twist to the right. Gaze back, look back. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Chest high, chin high. Exhale, spinal twist to the left. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Palms might touch, lengthen your arms. Exhale, spinal twist to the right. Let's hold and breathe. If the twist feels most excellent, stay here. Tiny little refinement though, bump your right hip forward as you roll your right shoulder backward. 
If you'd like to come back into your high repetition, inhale, stretch your right arm high, right fingers top left corner of your mat. This is a side body stretch. Exhale, release your right hand down, gaze to the back of your space. Inhale, right arm float high into the C curve. Exhale, right hand press down, look back and twist. Inhale, side body stretch. Keep the grip through your left fingers. Exhale, swim your right hand down and gaze back. Inhale, right arm stretch high. Exhale, right hand lower down. Now your rhythm, your pace, you're in another high repetition. The right arm lifts into a side body stretch and your right hand lowers back into the twist. If you would prefer stillness, honor that signal or request from your body. Let the only thing moving be the quality of your breath as opposed to the breath in the physical body. From my heart to yours, please know that you are always your best teacher because you are in your body in real time and you know how you're feeling, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally. You know precisely what you've shown up with today. If you're in the movements, I'll start our countdown from three. See if you can slow down even more the breath and the shape. For two, and one. Your end point, spinal twist with your right hand to the mat behind you. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, both arms up. Feel the echo of what you've done. Exhale, hands to your heart or backs of hands rest on legs. Take a few breaths in center just to feel the resonance of either stillness or high repetition. And whatever has arrived, feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana without expectation. Exhale, spinal twist to the left. Now you might find stillness. You might find stillness. You do not have to mirror or mimic what you did on first side. If you find it safe and appropriate, inhale, left arm high, left fingers, top right corner of your mat. Exhale, release your left hand down. Return to that seated spinal twist. Inhale, left arm, swim high without strain or over effort. Exhale, smooth spinal twist. Gaze back, look back. Your rhythm, your pace. Take personal responsibility for how slow or fast you breathe and how you move. If your higher heart is asking for stillness in this seated spinal twist, please honor that and pay attention. You are still in maximum benefit when you honor your body and pay attention to what it really needs. Small suggestions, you set your gaze down the bridge of your nose, narrow down what you can see, or close your eyes and draw a little bit deeper into your body as you breathe. High repetition. And again, you may find that your ego shows up and insists that this is incredibly boring and not worth your time. But in your higher heart, you know that it is incredibly important, if not crucial, to slow down and connect to your body as it is in this moment. I'll begin our countdown from three. As you know, this high repetition series is close to being complete. 
Try to slow down your breath and slow down your movement even more through space and time. With two, be gentle and patient. That's one. We'll meet in our seated spinal twist over to the left. Relax your inner legs and melt your outer knees closer to the floor. Your jaw spacious, your heart and head lifted. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Both arms stretch high, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Or release backs of hands to rest on your legs. Set your gaze or close your eyes. And just feel the echo of what you have just done. You might feel something through your left side body, your shoulder, either side of your neck, or perhaps the way you can sit and relax your legs. As you pause and feel the effects of that which you have done. Clear the channel with your breath, a deep inhalation, and a complete exhalation. If they're not already there, collect your hands at your heart. Take a mild bow of your chin to your chest. Feel that you have done enough. Know that you are enough. A little more connected to your body and your breath. A deep inhalation and a complete exhalation. We maintain your life-giving breath down to the belly as we journey through the prayer of loving kindness for closure. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. To seal and share, take a big breath in. Complete breath out. Relax inner legs and relax your shoulders. My hope for you is that your practice, your healing is continuous, your heart steady and of benefit to all beings. With an abundance of love and gratitude extended to you, we close this high repetition, gentle practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. My name is Caitlin. If you need anything at all, please use me as a resource. Any questions, comments, feedback, I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment down below. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. I do hope that you enjoyed this gentle yoga practice with high repetition, something that I personally have found very healing and very beneficial when funneling attention into the present moment. I hope to see you in another video and have a wonderful rest of your day.